Guess what? You don't need a music streamer to stream music, but it's going to make your experience a whole lot better. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our audiophile news and reviews. And click the cute little bell to be notified when we post new content. So you've discovered the joys of music streaming. It's, well, a more streamlined way to listen to digital music, be it files that you've ripped from your CDs, goodbye piles of plastic cases, or content that you stream from music services. All you need to stream is an internet connection and a phone or computer. But that may not be doing justice to your streaming experience or to your audiophile ears. You may want to buy a music streamer. But before we go any further, let's clarify what we mean by music streamer. Simply put, a streamer is a piece of hardware that allows you to access and play music via a network or internet connection. This can mean music from a streaming service such as Spotify or Tidal, or from locally stored music files. Technically, your phone is a music streamer as it's a conduit for streaming music. You can download a streaming service onto your phone, buy a subscription if necessary, and start listening. What we're talking about when we say music streamer is a device that's specifically designed and optimized for streaming music. This could be a device with or without a DAC or a digital to analog converter and with or without storage. If your streamer comes with a hard drive installed or with the option for you to add one, it's called a streaming server. Without internal storage, of course, a streamer can still pull music from a NAS or a USB drive. So let's take a look at how a music streamer or streaming server device can elevate and enhance your listening experience. Reason number one, a music streamer is a streamlined and convenient solution. If you've maintained a CD collection, you know how unwieldy piles of square plastic cases can be. Those wavy CD racks that graced many an apartment in the 90s, not so cool anymore. And don't get me started on those big black CD binders. Now don't get me wrong, I love CDs and I still pop one in when the mood strikes. But like many people, I've also ripped the majority of my CD collection. So let's say, like me, you own a ton of high-res audio files, but you've got no good way to manage them. If you're looking for a streamlined, user-friendly solution, that's where a streamer comes in. A great thing about a streaming device is that it puts a world of music at your fingertips with your streamed content and personal music library all in the same place. These devices are specifically and solely designed for music database management. Now, you only need one piece of software to control your streamed content as well as your stored files. With your computer, you may have had separate software for multiple streaming services, but now it's all controlled with one mobile app via your iPhone, iPad, or Android device. Now you can just sit back, push a few buttons, and grow roots on your couch. Okay, we don't suggest doing that, but you can't beat the convenience factor. Now, software will vary between streamers. The Orinder Conductor app, for example, is easy to use, but it only offers two music streaming services, albeit very good ones, Tidal and Kobuz. The Blue OS app for Blue Sound is chock full of streaming platform options, but the software isn't as user-friendly. However, if you don't like the software with your streamer, maybe it's difficult to navigate or you find it too techy, you can use Rune Music Management software. Most of the brands that we sell, excluding Orinder, which is its own closed ecosystem, are compatible with Rune. Rune combines all of your music, the digital files you own, plus streamed content into one unified library. The interface on the Rune app is like a Wikipedia for music, putting a candy store of metadata at your fingertips. Now there is no right answer here. You just have to decide which is best for your scenario. Just know that while browsing an app won't replace the tactile pleasure of handling album sleeves or liner notes, it can provide you with a visually pleasurable way of perusing your entire collection and your streamed content, as well as creating new playlists and discovering new music. Reason number two, the issue of sound quality. 
You can stream music from your computer, phone, or tablet and do just fine, especially if you use a DAC. Is it going to sound optimal? Likely not. A streamer is specifically designed to handle audio files in a way that your computer isn't. At the end of the day, your computer does a lot of things well, but it wasn't designed as an audio playback device. Computers are noisy. They weren't built to be quiet from a sonic level, but also from an electric standpoint. Now, is there a night and day difference between the sound from a computer and a streamer? Probably not. Is there a difference? Definitely. And if you're trying to squeeze out every last percentage point of performance, a streamer is the way to go. Now, music streamers vary in the types of files they can play, from CD quality up to 384 kilohertz or newer formats. When you're looking to play locally stored lossless files or access high-res tracks, from a subscription service like Tidal or Cobas, you'll want to make sure that your streamer supports the file types you want. Now, some streamers come with built-in DACs. Whether or not your streamer includes a DAC, you may opt to use an external one. If you happen to own a high-end DAC, it may well be better than the one in your streamer. That's for you to determine. In our opinion, the DAC will account for about 70% of the sound quality, with the streamer accounting for the other 30%. So spend more money on your DAC if you're buying one, but know that both are important. Now here's a rule of thumb about streaming sound quality. There is an argument to be made that the files you purchase from a high-res download site may have a better sound than some of the streaming services because there is an influence of the streaming services algorithms and how they change the sound quality of the stream. So if you're locally storing bit-perfect files that you've purchased, there is a potential for the recording to sound better. So if you're a critical listener, maybe you want to own some specific critical high-res downloads and then stream the other stuff. Reason number three, a streamer can allow you to take your phone or computer out of the playback equation. When you use your phone or laptop as a streamer, that device is multitasking. Someone calls while you're listening to music, that could be a very unwelcome interruption in your listening. Laptop battery dies mid-song, not cool. When you use a mobile device or computer for streaming, that device needs to be on and nearby. Essentially, you are tethered to that device. Using a dedicated streamer takes your device out of the equation, at least as a playback vehicle. You will still be using your device to control the software, of course. One more benefit. A streamer with storage, i.e. a streamer server, means you won't be storing audio files on your computer. Now that you know the benefits of owning a music streamer, it's time for you to determine which device is right for you. Stay tuned for part two of this series, How to Buy a Music Streamer, where we'll go over the various types of streamers and servers based on your specific audio needs. Below, we've linked the written version of this video. Feel free to leave us a comment if you've got questions. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our audiophile content. Thanks so much for watching.